at the Zimbabwe Peace Project, um, the 16 days of activism mean a lot to us because we deal with human rights violations and we get concerned when the violations affect women and girls. While we might recognize that the large number of direct victims of human rights violations are men, but we also recognize that in one way or the other, those men are connected to women and girls. And in some instances, those women are transformed overnight into nurses. And so we have women who are directly affected by human rights violations and those that are indirectly affected by um, human rights violations. And I think looking at 2016, we are, as an organization, quite concerned about the way that um, there is discrimination when it comes to food distribution uh, at a time when the country is reeling under the effects of the El Nino-induced drought. Women, like everyone else, have a right to belong to a political party of their choice because that is a right that is enshrined in the Constitution. So when they make those decisions about who they want to associate with and uh, where they would want to assemble and how they would want to express themselves, we appeal to um, the powers that be to consider that um, women should not be punished for choosing what they want um, in terms of the political parties that they want to be belong to um, because they might fear that probably they will lose out on uh, food and other aid. Um, I think at the moment we are also quite concerned in terms of how all this that is happening concerning women also kind of affects the girl child. In 2016, as the Zimbabwe Peace Project, we have also been concerned about the way that um, women have been on the receiving end of police brutality um, when they were demonstrating. Um, the Constitution of Zimbabwe gives Zimbabweans um, the right to demonstrate and petition as long as it is done peacefully. But we have seen women being brutalized on the streets and our appeal is that it is important for the rights of women to be respected um, as they, like any other citizen, will be um, actually uh, bringing out the issues that affect them in their day-to-day -day life.